Hey everybody, I am at a special location today. Uh, my friend Tyson Hughey, and I'll put a link to his my YouTube name. channel. <laughs> we are in his amazing garage with all of his phenomenal uh, examples of pretty much all the Acuras ever in existence, right? Well, well mo we have to <laughs> most narrow, of them. narrow the field a little yeah. bit. So what you see in here is pretty much would be what a dealership would have uh, on hand between about 1991 and 93. So it's before the whole alphanumeric Acura naming convention uh, like RLX, TLX, CL. This was back when the cars were called Legend and Vigor and Integra. And uh, it's taken me about 16 years to collect all of the ones that you see in here. Um, one of them that's Mike is walking in front of now isn't even mine. This is just in storage for one night until it gets picked up tomorrow. But uh, one thing that's kind of cool is everything in here is a stick shift. Um, I only prefer our uh, third pedal manual, so. Um, the right way. As a lot of folks are aware, in 2019, you can't even get a stick from Acura anymore. So times have definitely changed a little bit. We were just admiring the floor and uh, for those of you that watch my channel, I am here uh, with my friend Dale, and he's been in my videos, and we're just admiring this phenomenal floor. <laughs> it's more for show than for a workplace. Uh, I'll warn you right now, um, it does get slippery yeah. if you uh, dump water on it, and it's actually not as durable as I've maybe hoped. Uh, if you tend to drag toolboxes around or drop screwdrivers, it will. Well, this is a showroom. This is right. So um, it took about 12 days to do the three-stage process. I had the cars parked in the backyard, and the company that I ended up using is uh, great, uh, brilliant AZ epoxy, and. Uh, the configuration that I went with ran about four bucks a square foot. So if anybody looks to do something like that, it's kind of what you end up looking at. What you see in the walls though is really just a collection of um, either magazine articles or posters or pictures from group events. Um, two of the cars in the garage have been in magazines. So I have uh, acrylic um, wall hangs with those articles. Um, this in the picture here is from road trips. What are we going to ask? And this legend right here, this is the, the world famous legend. Why don't you tell us about right. this? Right. So I've had this for 16 years. It's a 94 LS Type 2 with a six speed manual transmission that uh, I've had a lot of fun with driving through 37 states. And this and has about what? About 80,000 miles <laughs> on this car? Just broken in, Mike. Come on. This has 565283 on it. More than half a million half miles a million on this miles. car. Um, the only time it's ever seen a tow truck was when the fuel pump died at 399,000. And uh, it's killed two deer in Texas <laughs> at the front end rebuilt. Seven timing belts, four radiators, four windshields. The list goes on and on. I have two record books. So, uh, and this is why you've been recognized by Honda Motor Company, correct? Correct. So this binder, or this banner rather, was hanging on the side of the Torrance corporate office in Southern California, and they had a red carpet, uh, you know, leading up until the front door. This was November of 2011, and uh, at that time they actually presented me with some swag, like a, a duffel bag and you know, free service for a year for the legend and a few other things. But the, the real pot of gold came six months later when they gave me a free car. So oh, in the wow. driveway, you'll see when you leave, I have a silver 2013 ILX. Um, that was a free car in exchange for some blogging activities. So I won out on that one. Well, just real quickly, uh, and then I'll close out this video. Sure. Uh, why don't you name off your cars that you have in the garage here currently? Okay. So, uh, 1994 Acura Vigor GS Arcadia Green. It's kind of a rare one. They only made three years. A le another legend. This one, basically a mechanical twin to the coupe, but with four e with two extra doors. So the sedan, also a six-speed manual, GS trim. This little rice rocket is an Aztec Green Integra GSR. This one is kind of one of Acura's first applications of VTEC. Um, so it's really a screamer. It has an 8,000 RPM redline, 250,000 miles on this one as well. It came out of uh, Seattle originally. 
And then the, the red rocket back there is a 92 NSX Formula Red. Um, had that for about eight years now, seven years. Um, originally was a 30th birthday present to myself. So I nice. just pulled the trigger on that two weeks before my goal. And uh, that one regularly gets driven across country for uh, big uh, club beats and stuff. So the black car back here is the opposite end of the mileage spectrum for most of my. It's a 91 LS sedan with only 48,000 miles. My friend Jason and his father are flying from Salt Lake City to pick it up tomorrow. Um, funny, quick side note on this one. This car was stolen when it was brand new in 1991 from a dealership. It was hidden away for a decade or more until it was recovered. So that's why it has super low miles. And included with the car, and Jason got all this, is an actual six or eight page police report detailing how the car had gone missing from a dealership in Ohio in 1991. Huh, that's pretty so, cool. Yeah, kind of a wild story. <laughs> That'll fit right in. So yeah, this is basically the, the collection of um, brochures, VHS tapes, die-cast model cars, anything from over the years. And people just send me stuff sometimes. This blue binder right here says materials and finishes. This is uh, a dealer-issued brochure that actually has carpet and paint samples for your approved dealership colors from 2004. And then the tapes I've converted to digital and put on YouTube already. So, kind of just a hodgepodge. Well, you have quite the amazing collection here. Yeah, well, thanks for And we're missing out. the SUV, which is <laughs> in another garage or outside. Uh, I'll just open the door real quick. It's oh, okay. right here. I promise it's not pretty to look at, but... <laughs> It was 400 bucks, so I can't complain. Yeah. That's it? Yeah. <laughs> You'll appreciate another car that's back here, too. Oh. <laughs> so, most people will look at this and know exactly what it's rebadged from. This was Acura's attempt at selling an Isuzu Trooper. For four model years, they took a Trooper, plastered an A on it, and tried to call it their own before the MDX SUV came out. So it's kind of like the biggest joke of Acura's whole history because it really wasn't a success, but um, it's it's a rugged and fun machine and I love it just because I, nothing in the collection can haul a coffee table like this thing can. You can drive this thing in the rain and- And I don't even care. Don't care where you park it. <laughs> exactly. And then storing a legend for a friend, storing a boat for a friend, storing a Mustang for a friend. You know the, you yeah. know the drill. Well, that's awesome. I want to thank uh, Tyson for opening his garage yeah. for us. And like I said, I will put a link in the description. So please feel free to check out his channel. Yep. Thanks for watching. As always, catch you on the flip Thanks side. Thanks for coming.